Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at multicharts.net, but what we're going to talk about is actually the quote manager within multicharts.net. So what the quote manager does is it manages, manages your symbols uh, and also your data as well. So there's one thing that we can do in there that's a pretty cool feature that I think you should know about. So let's go ahead and open up the quote manager. You'll see that I just have one symbol here as an example. We have the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract uh, coming from the rhythmic um, uh, interface here as far as the data. And one thing you can do within uh, the quote manager here is you can actually set up the quote manager to uh, automatically retrieve quotes for the E-mini S&P 500 or other instruments as long as you're receiving data. And there's several reasons that you might wanna do this. One, uh, it means that you can save uh, data for instruments that aren't necessarily up on a chart. So this uh, reduces the, um, uh, the need to you know, open up a chart to capture data. Uh, it's actually already being done here in the quote manager if you enable it. So, uh, and with that data, what you can do is uh, you can edit that data, you can export that data, uh, you can, um, uh, of course access the the data that is collected so for example if there is volume data such as bid and ask volume data um, that is coming through from your data provider uh, real time but maybe not historical uh, then you can capture that here in real time to kind of put that to use for back testing uh, or other purposes so it's a pretty simple uh, setting to go ahead and do this uh, what you want to do is just right mouse click on that specific symbol and then select connect symbol so uh, what that is going to do is it's going to collect real-time data without plotting it so the meaning that you don't have to necessarily open up a chart uh, to get the data for this instrument it's going to automatically collect this kind of in the background and what you'll notice here is uh, while i have the quote manager open i don't actually have multi charts open at this point so this means that you can actually collect this data uh, without uh, even having multi charts open necessarily. So, just another benefit there to kind of keep everything in the background and keep everything uh, integrated pretty tight. Uh, once this does connect here, it will uh, show connected and will show uh, how many quotes it's starting to kind of receive and keep you updated there. You'll also get this uh, in the event log. If for any reason you want to disable that feature, uh, which you're uh, welcome to do, of course, uh, you can right mouse click here and then just select disconnect symbol. And uh, if you do connect it, um, uh, keep in mind that it will actually remember that. So each time you open up the quote manager, it will automatically start collecting that. You see that it is on here uh, and collecting. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, is you can just open up the quote manager and, and start receiving those uh, quotes. Um, but you don't have to enable that every time. If you just open it up, it will automatically do that for the uh, symbols that you choose here. So that's a, a pretty good way to do that. If you have any questions about the Quote Manager or other features here, please feel free to visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com uh, or give us a call.